Okay, we're getting a demonstration in this uh, Range Rover PT838 uh, software on the uh, Nanocom Evolution 2. We're going to be demonstrating the uh, air suspension software. Read the fault codes. Hear the system react. And there's no faults in this uh, system. In the settings. Again, hear the system uh, being communicated with. The evolution here gathers the data. Okay, you can see here the uh, stored values in editable boxes. Next to it is the current values. The uh, system setup. We're actually in the high profile at the moment. Editing any value is a fairly straightforward job. Just uh, change it as you wish. Okay, we can store that in the ECU. And there, it's changed. Take the ECU with your value, done. Of course we have the other values, the other height uh, values, the four height settings, and you can change any of these. In the inputs, again the usual few seconds communicating, and here are the uh, target heights that the uh, ECU is trying to achieve. Move over to the next screen. These are the actual heights, the ones that the uh, height sensors are feeding back, i.e. what it's currently achieving. If you've got a fault in one of the height sensors, come on that screen. This tells you what the valves are doing. For example, you'll see valves open if I uh, raise the car, starting with the rear. And then the front is the uh, traditional fashion of raising it. And similarly, if I uh, go back down again. This shows the state of other valves. I'm lowering the car at the moment so the exhaust valve is open. And when it reaches it, then it'll be closed. The compressor's on, and they're always uh, refilling. You can see some of the values that the system's using here. Another page, you can actually see the inlet valve, thermal switch state of the, the actual uh, user buttons. And finally, some uh, numerical values that the system uses. On the outputs, we naturally have the ability to manually open all of the valves and that are exhaust and of course to drive the air pump. Moving on to the next uh, page of options, we have a utility mode. In its utility mode you can uh, set the system to uh, height manually by uh, pressing the unit. On the deflate system, this is used when you have to do uh, any work on the system. You want to evacuate all of the air. And of course you have uh, lock modes to lock the uh, system in high lock mode for uh, maintenance or transport lock mode for uh, transportation of the vehicle.